Good morning, folks. Another calm day on our star. It's another story here at Earth, but we'll get to that in a moment. The sunspots are calm. We do have plasma filament ropes turning in from both the north and the south. We're going to run down the space weather news, including a level 2 geomagnetic storm, and then the seismic factors in action, followed by the weather. Solar flares, barely cracking into sea range. It's five more days until another significant planetary geometry when Mars conjoins the Sun. Should be a solar and terrestrial indicator as both Earth and Sun are involved. Anyway, in the meantime, the sunspots are silent. We've actually got some good size to some of the umbras, but the spread of blue and red, positive and negative, holds true in every sunspot grouping. Boys on the right, girls on the left. This is a recipe for low solar activity, regardless of how big or numerous the sunspots are. Solar wind bringing the real story. Yesterday we saw the density spiking, followed by a speed surge along with plasma temperature. The denser spikes were slower particles bunched up out ahead of the faster stream like snow on the shovel blade, with a phi angle twisting as well. Space weather indices began rising. Satellite surface charging events began right away over the powerful Indian Earth spot, which we'll see shortly, and the magnetic field of Earth began trembling. Moderately significant pulsation events at Earth as well, with the magnetometer showing an end to the smooth curves as the KP rises to 4 and then 6, a level 2 geomagnetic storm that is causing some relevant satellite surface charging potential across wider areas, even into red range here. But it's not that much red, just a bit, and it's surface charging, not internal charging, so no need for concern whatsoever. Space weather quake factors are high, well, how about the coronal holes? The incoming positive opening may not be so easy to see at the moment, just a bit of visibility, but appearances can be deceiving. Even though its IMF streamers are just getting to Earth now, watch it on ISWA on the left jump up in force from orange to red the moment one of Earth's magnetic connection points jumped right to it. Those are stronger than the ambient IMF, so combined with the space weather factors, we shouldn't have been surprised to see an uptick in Japan. Actually, very fair on the multiple readings list. Also, some moderate seismicity across the ocean near the Americas. Top story today is that the flying saucer test is finally go. They expect to launch in a few hours. There are your links for watching it live. Back to that Indian Earth spot we mentioned. Strongest storm on the planet is this developing cyclone right underneath the initial satellite charging area, heading west with gorgeous penumbral cloud ridges. Some of the best I've ever seen. Storm in second place is Blanca. Weakened but still a major pain for locals and for those not so local as it is fully connected with the northeastern low through the clouds, delivering moisture to the heat flow already coming up out of the gulf and where it collides with that cooler dry air from the northwest, will get the convergence and severe storm alerts. Same thing coming to this area tonight. In Europe, a much lighter day. You actually need to spot how the flow coming down through here meets another air mass coming in from the east. It isn't much, but it's the pop-up storm zone again, and the other systems would need to strengthen or move in order to become relevant. Same southern low is relevant here. If you live in Tasmania or southern New Zealand, it might help to check your local forecast. Weather shares from the area would be helpful. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Also, a lot of updates to spaceweathernews.com. I'm not done adding graphs or tweaking it yet, but we're already combining NOAA, NASA, and IPS, and by tonight there'll be even more, trying to make the best one-stop space weather shop for you guys. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.